Have you heard of Chicago Rise Up League? It's a new pro-am summer league held at South Suburban College in South Holland. We want you to meet Willie Harris, the brother who launched this league to make a difference. I'm commentating in Chicago. You know, I started commentating basketball at the local leagues around Chicago. Then uh, two years ago, I had got a call to do the uh, Ball Up Million Dollar Challenge. That was here in Chicago on, uh, at Dunbar High School. Mm -hmm. So then after that, I started getting calls. I did a couple of jobs uh, for ESPN. Then uh, I ended up traveling the world with Ball Up. So I was going to Australia and doing street ball games and everything. But tell us about the league that just started five weeks ago. Yeah, uh, this is the Chicago Rise League, man. Uh, I started the league because you know, Ball Up, they came here for a year, then they stopped, then we had the Nike, and they stopped, and they can come up here for like one week out of the year, and I said, you know what, I want to have a tournament, because basketball in Chicago, it saves lives, man. Yeah. So just to get people off the streets, you know what I'm saying, for five or six hours for a few weeks, that's life changing for us. That's what I grew up seeing, going to IIT and everything, man. So, you know, it, it was it was an honor, you know, to start a league, and I, I got a lot of support from all the coaches and players, man. So that Chicago was hungry for this, man. Man, beautiful, and so I see that it's a crowd out here now. What's been the response um, of the of the spectators so far? Oh man, everybody is loving it. Like I said, Chicago loves basketball, man. So people was thirsty for us to have another venue that they can come to. You know, just like a regular meeting. They go to church, they come in, then they go home or go out to eat after this. You know, we even sit in the parking lot for hours after the game. All the ball players, we like, it's a brotherhood, man. It's no foolishness or nothing. We ain't got to worry about no gunplay, nothing. It's all peace and love out here, man. So it's a brotherhood and we, we love it, man. And the players love it and the fans love it, man. And talk a little bit about the type of players that's uh, playing in the league. Oh, man. We got some of the players, man. I used to go to IT and watch. You know, we got a lot of up and coming ball players, young players. We got some vets the Tony Bennett, the, uh, the uh, Stephon Hannes, the Royce, the Field Greens, man. And they come here, man. They put on a show, man. You know, I even got a new team. It's some Africans. Now, I think they're the first African team to be in the Pro Am League. And they are undefeated, man. They wow. are playing ball. And they play the last game of the night. It's the game of the night versus another undefeated team. Team Rose with Royce and Phil and the other host guys, man. So people, they in for a treat, man. And now I got some, some young up-and-coming high school ballers who want to test their manhood and see if they got what it take against the men. My boy Chase Adams came out here today, showed he had it, man. Javon uh, Freeman from Whitney Young, he came out here. And the guy from Simeon, Horton Tucker, he came out here. He didn't play, but he came out here. And people coming out to show their support and love, man, for what we're doing out here. Man, beautiful. And what's the uh, schedule of the games? The schedule of the games, man, we here every Sunday. First game starts at 1. Uh, last game started at 6. We out of here by 7 o'clock. We don't have to worry about is unless we have some overtime to go to every Sunday we be out of leaving at the door around 6.50, man. So you can't be late because I start the games with or without you, man. See, I like to run stuff on time and professional for people to know if my game at 3.30, we on the court and to tip the ball at 3.30, not 3.45. That's how I do it here. This is Tori Muhammad reporting for Being Sue Times. And don't forget to join us for Black Chicago Eats Month this August 2017.